Hello Pisces and welcome to your general love reading for September 2022 for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. This reading is going to be general so do keep in mind that it's not going to resonate for all of you but if you would like a personal reading you can find all that information in the description box. And also the roles in this reading can be reversed regardless of whether you are cross watching or not because it is general. All right, Pisces, let's see what is going on with you in September 2022 for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, for the situation, we have the Hermit. Okay, so that's Virgo. Some of you might be dealing with a Virgo here, or you might have Virgo in your charts. And that is crossed by the Ten of Swords. Ooh. Okay. Um, it feels like you're right smack in the middle of a difficult situation here. Um, it feels like somebody is really um, going within and doing some soul searching, especially concerning some kind of an ending or something that has been very, very painful or something that is painful. Um, I don't know if this ending has happened um, yet or it's something that is just kind of circulating, um, but we'll see. We'll see when we clarify. Hopefully that will clear up. Let's see, for your energy, we have the Knight of Swords, the Knight of Wands, and the Two of Pentacles. Okay. Um, wow, there's a lot of movement here. And I feel like, you know, you've... There's a lot going on here. There's a lot that's going on for you, um, unless the roles are reversed. I feel like there may have been a lot of back and forth concerning... A particular situation I don't know if this is your energy towards the other person um, maybe maybe not it could be towards something else or just the way that you're feeling but I feel like it's it's almost like there's two different aspects of you um, one of them um, is very very like restless um, wanting to know or move towards truth and then the other one it's like all over the place and I feel like this is creating a bit of a struggle for you like some kind of some kind of a back and forth is, is the best way that I can put it not knowing how to manage both of these aspects to a particular situation like there's or there's just two different energies that are playing out here in your mind or in your heart and you just don't know how to handle it. It might even feel a little bit overwhelming. Um, let's see for the other person here. We have the Sun, the Five of Swords, and the Page of Pentacles. Okay, so some of you might be dealing with a Leo or maybe you or they have strong Leo in their charts. Um, It almost feels like this person is actually, mm, sabotaging their own happiness in a way, or there was a point in time where, you know, everything seemed like it was okay with them, or they felt like everything was okay and everything was happy, but I feel like it was superficial or it's that's what's kind of coming up for them seeing that okay no it wasn't a hundred percent happy like there's either something missing here or something there's like a missing piece to the puzzle but i do see them actually moving towards more stability or moving towards um taking some kind of a path here that is going to be in in their highest good at least Let's see the potential outcome. We have the devil. All right, Capricorn energy. Um, okay, yeah, it does. Things do feel a little shaky. <laughs> I said that from the beginning. This does not mean that this is going to be something negative. A lot of times when we get a very negative or a seemingly negative card for the potential outcome, it oftentimes is a precaution or it can be that, yes, you know, something negative is happening, but it doesn't necessarily mean that that is the actual outcome. This negative event could be something that brings things into balance or that brings more awareness and consciousness to the situation wherever it is that is needed. 
So it does feel like there is some kind of, um, I see, I'm seeing this more of like this endless cycle kind of that has been playing out. And it's like some kind of a vicious cycle that needs to be broken. Um, let's see, let's, let's clarify this. Don't be discouraged just yet. Especially if so far this is making some sense to you. All right, Pisces, let's see. Let's see the Hermit with the Ten of Swords. Two of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, and the Ace of Swords. Okay, so I do kind of feel like this is you, and it could be that you are contemplating whether you should end something, or maybe something has ended, and this ending is keeping you from being able to find your own sense of self, and it's keeping you from being able to um, really see what the lessons in this are. Um, okay, so one or the other. I feel like for some of you it's going to be that you're contemplating this ending and then for others of you it's that it's it's kind of already happened or happening and it's like it's getting the, the best of you. Um, so the message that I'm getting here is to just, you know, whatever it is, if this is if this is an ending that has not happened yet but you're thinking about it, it's or that it might happen, whether it's going to be on your end or whether it's you're fearing that it's from the other person's end, it doesn't really matter. Um, the message that I'm getting here is don't let that stop you from being able to really get in touch with your own self because that can just, it can overtake things, you know, and get the better of you and then it's just delaying the learning process, okay? So that's just um, a message for some of you who might benefit by hearing that. And it doesn't mean that, you know, you can't grieve this or anything like that. Um, you definitely do need time for that. But Spirit is saying just don't let it keep you from, you know, gaining this wisdom, whatever that is, or from getting in tune with your own self. Because I do get that this is a connection, you know, that, um, that you really wanted with that Nine of Cups here and the Ace of Swords. Um, all right, let's, let's see. Knight of Swords for your energy. The Ten of Wands and the Six of Cups. Yeah, so there's this part of you where you're very, very restless and possibly even um, impatient. And this could be a little bit of the past energy for you as well, um, where you just wanted this connection, right? You really wanted this connection because you feel like there is a deep connection here with this person. And it's like this impatience or this restlessness or this like, in some way feeling agitated, it just got to be very, very overwhelming or it is still very overwhelming for you. Let me see the Knight of Wands. the Eight of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles. Yeah, it's almost like this was, um, it's like there's this part of you wanting to focus, wanting to find your own, your own stability here, wanting to just, you know, feel grounded. And I, I feel like, you know, this is serving as a barrier for you, whatever this ending is, or this lurking ending, or this fear of an ending, or I don't know, um, even to the point where it could be influencing your or affecting your, your focus even at work, um, serving as a very big distraction for you. Um, and I do get that, you know, there's also this part of you wanting to, wanting to put in effort to see if you know, maybe something can be fixed and then there's that part of you that doesn't and it's just like this back and forth. Let's see the Two of Pentacles. The Five of Cups and the Emperor. Yes, 
yeah, again, there's, it's like there's just two energies playing out for you right here. Um, again, on the one hand, it's like, yeah, you just want to grieve this and, and move on. Um, but, but I feel like it's just overwhelming for you, almost like you're not really sure how to do that. And there, I feel like that part of you that does know how to do that comes into play um, once in a while. And what I'm actually getting here is that you do have what it takes. You are this emperor. Um, no matter how stormy it gets, yeah, it might be it might be creating some sadness for you, but ultimately, you can find yourself and you can move on and you can feel empowered and powerful and take control over this. And that's what I feel like you're moving towards, okay? So, but I'm getting that the message is, you know, that you need encouragement for that. And so that's why this message is coming through to give you that encouragement that you do have what it takes. You are this emperor. Okay, so let's see what's going on with the other person. Let's see the sun. The seven of wands and the nine of pentacles. I don't know what is going on with this person exactly, um, but they're definitely in some way blocking out, blocking out their happiness or that's what they've been doing. Um, and I feel like that was, you know, for the purpose of maintaining some kind of independence. And it's almost like this person even thought that that they could be happy in this way. Um, being independent, just being separate from this in some way, being maybe even single to some extent. I feel like they had their guard up and thought that they could be happy in this way. But like I said, I feel like it's proving to be wrong with that five of swords. So let's clarify that five of swords. The seven of cups and the magician. Yeah, I'm getting that this is kind of like what they're, what they're manifesting here is that, you know, this like superficial, superficial happiness, right? Like this was an illusion. And I do see that they pretty much manifested this um, in their own life here. But it's also coming in as them realizing this, right? Seeing that this was an illusion, um, that there, there was something that they were seeing distorted. Uh, again, I feel like this is somebody who wanted to hold on to their independence. So they may have had like a fear of an attachment or possibly a fear of a commitment. Um, just wanting to really be in control and so because of that I do see them um, I feel like there is still some confusion here on their side but they are moving towards that page of Pentacles like just beginning to take this new path that just feels a lot more grounded a lot more secure um, even though we do have the devil after that. So let's actually, let's see. Let's see this page of pentacles. I mean, this, this feels like somebody who just wanted to keep their options open. And that, so that's what they were, you know, kind of bringing to the table here. Um, all right. So for the page, sorry. Yeah, it's the page of pentacles. I'm not sure if I said night before it's the page. Um, three of wands and the star. All right, so we also have Aquarius, all right, on this person's side. Yeah, see, so they're taking this first steps. I feel like there's something that they have learned from whatever this experience is or was. Um, that's why I'm saying I do feel like they're seeing that this was um, superficial happiness. It wasn't real happiness, whatever it is that they were trying to do or whatever lifestyle they were trying to hold on to. Um, and I do see them moving in a new path for their future, <coughs> at least wanting to, right? They have this star here, right? Attached to this three of wands. So they're, 
they're feeling hopeful and I do see them, you know, changing something from the past, moving towards the direction of healing. But again, I feel like it's the first steps here with this being the page. So, oops, okay, let's see what that devil is about. So why is the devil here for the potential outcome, please? The Nine of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Seven of Swords. Yeah, because this has been some kind of a pattern, some kind of a cycle. There is something here where there is fear involved, and I feel like that fear is on both sides, but just for different things, right? Like each of you has a different fear. I I get that this, this devil here, I mean, it's here as a precaution. Again, you know, like break that cycle break that fear and you totally have what it takes the both of you with this wheel of fortune in order to turn this in a different direction turn that wheel make a change here this is not this is not how it has to be because again it's like there's i feel like there's been a lot of deception here possibly um some avoidance some hiding hiding um and it's been a long a long ride so yes this is with the wheel of fortune especially being right smack in the middle this is definitely something that can change and i definitely feel like this person is taking that first step in some direction right which is going to be different more stable more secure as i said learning from the past and I feel like for you, it's really just about finding that balance within your own self. And if this requires some kind of an ending at the moment, then let it be that. All right, Pisces. Definitely feels intense. It definitely does feel intense. All right, but let's see. Let's get a final message for you if this resonated. Again, remember that the roles may have been reversed. All right, Pisces, final message, please. And we have nature. Ground yourself. Find a sanctuary in nature. Connect with the elementals. Yeah, that, I feel like that's exactly what I've been saying. <laughs> to try to ground yourself rather than being, you know, um, allowing this to get the better of you and you being all over the place. Um, and that's definitely going to help you. And you're going to be okay. All right, Pisces, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.